Hi Duck, so we're back with a Watch Me Work video and this is one of my faves because I absolutely, absolutely love it because it's got our brand new neon collection in and I did these nails um, on Zoe a while ago so she actually got to use and see the neon inks before anybody else. And she's been dying to share them. And she's like saying to me, I need the neon inks. When are they available? Because my clients keep asking me for these nails that you've done. So now she'll be able to get them. So what I'm doing so is I'm tipping, sculpting. You're tipping on these ones? What was the I'm tipping. tipping. Um, she, she wanted tips. And it's that simple. She's a nail tech as well. Um, right. So we're going to do tips. We are using Bare Booty here. And then I go in with strip tees at the back. They seamlessly work together. My favourite combination of acrylic for doing a cover pink nail extension of any kind, whether it's a full nail or it's a French. So you'll see I'm doing a two bead method. So I put one bead down and then I create that smile line. So I just use the brush, I'm flattening that brush out and using the brush to create that smile line. So that's the only part I'm concentrating on. So this is why I do a two bead method when I'm doing a nail bed extension. So we're making the nail bed look longer, which makes the nails look thinner and longer and more elegant. And then when I go in with my next bead, I can then concentrate on the cuticle area and I can concentrate on the apex. I haven't got to worry about that smile line. If you, um, you know, struggle with doing that one bead application to do your smile lines, then definitely switch to that two bead method and you can concentrate on your individual job at that time. So I'm using an A&A &A glitter, which is called Mirror magic. Oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Excuse me. It was upside me. down that. I'm, I'm, I'm breaking my neck to try and read it. So we've got A&A &A and then we've got a Jalica one. Press. So the so Jalica one's fairy, called... Fairy, fire white, fairy... Fairy glare, oh. glaze? Fair, that, yeah. Fairy glare, fine white. Oh my God, if you could see Adam right now, he's like full on <laughs> putting his head to the side, trying to look at what no, it's called. No, I had to literally turn the computer. Did you turn the computer? <laughs> How have you got your whole body that way? Um, you should tell people we're actually having to do this like it's COVID times again, where we're like we're remote. And then we've got the <laughs> other glitter is called Magic Mirror from um, Jalica. Jalica. So now we're going to use the white acrylic. So this white acrylic is called White Lightning from the Kirsty Meekin range. Notice that I'm using the dampen dish. What dampen dish is that? Oh my God, it's the empty pot of a acrylic powder. So you'll notice if you've got our acrylic powders, they come in such a beautiful pot. So once you finish the powder in that pot, do not throw it away, it's far too beautiful. Put your acrylic liquid in and you'll able to use that. Um, I don't screw the lid on, I just place the lid over the top. Um, if you screw the lid on and you shake it up, it will melt the lid, so don't do that. Um, but I'm using this color just to create a thin, coverage of white and that's because we're not just going to leave this as a white nail oh no we're going to use all them glitters that we just showed you <laughs> so i'm making sure that cuticle area, area is nice and neat and we're going to do the same on this finger as well and I, I love i love zoe's tattoos absolutely love zoe's tattoos and um, she's got such beautiful tattoos on her fingers and she's from colin bay you may have seen Zoe before on a Watch Me Work video. Um, we did last time she had um, some crazy bespoke ones which were like 3D French. And they were like, like a teal mm. colour, like all different teal colours. Um, if you recognise the tattoos, you might know which nails they were. So we're going to do this on the two middle fingers. So the thumb and the two middle fingers so the index finger and the middle finger are going to be this full white, but then we're going to put glitter on them. How do you choose which fingers, uh, which nails sorry, are going to have a French and which ones aren't? What is it that makes you go, right, with this client, I'm going to do that, and then this client, I'm going to do that? I do like this kind of combination of doing two middle fingers different than the, like, the index or the, the pinky. Right. So sometimes I do 
French on the two middle fingers and then a full colour on like the you know the index and the pinky. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I do it this way. I just love that combination. I think it it's yeah. an easy way to tie in a design where you can make it look a little bit different, but it's it's still aesthetically pleasing because they tie together they are cohesive in the way that the design flows from nail to nail, even though yeah. some have got French and some haven't. Now, if you if you want a more surface to work on, then those two middle thing, fingers and the thumb are gonna be your biggest nails. So if you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna do, like, I want to do some like really detailed hand-painted artwork, then I would always go for the thumb and the two middle fingers because the index finger and the pinky are way smaller. Um, but then if you're not doing much design, then doing a French on the two middle fingers also works as well. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you can see that I've picked up um, some glass slipper acrylic powder and I've put the glitter on. But now, I'm going to go back to the smile lines and I'm using a file to file around the smile line to perfect it and make sure that when I put the next colour on, it's super, super crisp. So you have the cover pink colour, so you have that bare booty colour meeting the next colour super sharp. And that's when it's going to give you a nice, crisp, clean smile line and if you think oh that smile line isn't quite as deep as the one on the other finger this is where you can adjust that and you can correct it so don't get too stressed about it you want to do most of the work with the brush don't get me wrong but it's always good to just go back in with a file and then you know when you put your next color on it's going to be nice and crisp and neat and symmetrical so we're going on with white lining so for this process, we're going to do the same as we did on the other fingers. So we put the white on, but then we're going to put the glitter over the top of the white. And mm. I know some of you are probably thinking, well, where's the neon ink come into play? Don't you worry, the neon ink does come into play. And you'll see the reason why I have used white as the background, because when we use neon inks over the top of white, well, it just goes wow. It really enhances it. it. Yeah. Pops. It does really pop. And you're not going to lose any of those um, facets from the glitter. You're still going to see the glitter shining through as well. So, I mean, this is a nice set as it is with the white and the glitter. It's very, it's like um, mm. a snowy scene, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Not that I want any a, snow. Even a bit of a bridal <laughs> thing going on there to a certain extent. It's what? It's a bit bridal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a bit bridal as well, yeah. So you could be a snowy winter scene or it could be like a bridal set as it is right now. Um, so if this client then comes back and has an infill, we can still infill them with the same product and, you know, they can have this colour continuing. Yeah. Or you could cover it up with gel polish. But... It's quite an easy set to fill. Now, when, when I have nail techs come to me and they want the nails done, I always say to them, do you want me to do them so you can fill them as well? Because I want them to get the longevity out of their set of nails. You know, yeah. they come to me, they spend a lot of money. I want them to be able to um, fill them if they want to themselves. Don't get me wrong, I get a lot of nail techs that come to me and have their nails done and only have their nails done by me because they hate doing their own nails and they can't be bothered <laughs> and they don't have time. And it's their, it's their bit of time for them, for themselves. So and who do you go to get your nails done by? I go to work uh, myself. <laughs> <laughs> we have said we would get Kaylee to do them though. As yes, well. I do need to get Kaylee to do them. I need to get Kaylee or Cheryl to do them, or Camilla. I wouldn't mind them doing them, but yeah, I tend to do them myself. So I'm using the ceramic bit now. So this bit is our coarse ceramic bit, and it actually has a purple Swarovski crystal embedded in the top of it so not only is it functional oh it's pretty pretty gorgeous as well so i'm using that to perfect the shape 
take it take off any bulk and i just want to make it nice and smooth and you can do that with the purple ceramic bit so the bits are a pale pink but the actual crystal at the end for this one is purple and you'll notice it's got a purple band at the bottom so that band actually helps the dust not it helps it to not enter the handpiece of your electric pile. Ah. So it's there to protect. So some people I are did like, not know that. Yeah. I just thought it was there to identify. And it, and it does. It does help to identify because we also have a like medium to fine um, drill bit, which is ceramic, which has a pink Swarovski bit on the top, and it has a pink band. So it has a pink dust band. So that dust band is going to help prevent any light particles going in to the handpiece because you want to protect your um, electric file as well so that is it's really important you know like you, you should well, if you are using an autoclave with these bits they have the dust band on the dust band needs to be removed before you put it into an, any kind of heat sterilization you can just slide off that dust band because if you leave it on and it's going to heat up well it'll just melt won't it mm. so, um yeah. so that is important or if, if you put if you use barbicide as your sterilization or your disinfection um you can um leave that on it's absolutely fine to leave it on so once we've done that i'm going to go in with my hand file now get those side walls nice and straight which is really important because you don't want any sides dropping you don't want um any excess product hanging over but this is going to give them nice and straight sides and then we're going to do the cuticle area so i'm perfecting the shape making sure i'm checking all the angles of the nail hence why i keep moving the nail you know much to the frustration of uh, adam and jay who has to edit the video <laughs> rather hard <laughs> i just i just gotta check all the angles though you've got to check the angles so i'm gonna do this on all the nails and we've got you know these are like a omeletto we're gonna call them an omeletto shape so they're not a stiletto they're not an almond they're you know they've got a soft tip and when i say soft mm. it's not super super sharp it's not gonna cut you it's easy to work with. If you're a nail tech and you're doing other people's nails, then an almond shaped nail is definitely the easiest shape to work with. So now we're getting the acetone and we're going to put it into a little dampen dish. So our acetone is um, aloe and cucumber scented as well. Mm. And we're going to use, I think there's six colours that I use in this set. So we use fire opal, we use or oh, maybe 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 not six maybe maybe five i can't remember we'll see <laughs> we've got fire yeah. opal as your orange then we've got zircon which is your pink and you can see i'm just putting it on like don't need to be perfect then you've got amethyst which is your um, purple and notice how i put the colors next to each other and they do slightly overlap so we've got the orange looks nice next to the pink. The pink looks nice like next to the um, amethyst. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go with blue because when blue and pink merge, they'll just make a slightly different um, sort of purpley. And if you... The amethyst is so deceiving in the bottle because it looks brown. Oh my God, bottle. doesn't it? But it's nice. It's, it does. It's not. It's, it's, purple. Out, it's purple. So the blue is sapphire. So if I put a green next to the orange, it would go a really murky colour. So that's why it's important to know your colours that can sit next to each other and won't create like this muddy effect. So if, even if you put like purple and green, you'll get like a muddy effect. So I'm making sure that we've got this rainbow of colours that sit next to each other that actually complement each other. If that makes sense? Because, mm. you know, there's a, there's, there is some colour theory there of what mixes and what doesn't mix. Because now, we once all those colours are on and I'm happy with the amount that I have on, we're going to use... Um, we're going to use some acetone in the dampened dish to sort of move them around and create a bit of a marble effect. 
and I'm using the Adam 3D brush for this. So you can either use the Adam 3D brush or you can actually use the Aqua, so the Nico Aqua as well. But I do like to use either of them. It depends how much pressure you want. So you'll notice that I turn this brush to the side as well. So if I wanted to touch it wider, I'm going to keep it flat. But then if I want to touch lighter in a smaller area, I'll turn the brush to the side. So because it's pinched, I've kind of got the best of both worlds. So I'm now merging these by tapping and I'm literally just tap 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 with a little bit of acetone and just creating a blend and you can still see the glitter coming through which is pretty cool mm -hmm. I absolutely yeah. love that about this design the more acetone you put on the more it will merge and the more color you will lose so if you wanted it a bit pastel -y, you know you could do that you could take more yeah. on but we're working directly on top of the acrylic. So we're not working on a matte top coat. If you want it to stick even more, you can work on top of a, top, a matte top coat and it will super, super, super like stick. It'll just stain loads. So it depends what kind of effects you want. I like working directly on the top of acrylic as well because the acrylic is porous. So the ink will adhere to it really well. But because it's got a clear layer on, you could actually file that off and you'd still have the white underneath, do you think? You or would. would it seep down to the... No, the you white could, white you could. So, like, because... Um, so, they, say Zoe come for an infill, we could mm. file over that. And because the ink is so thin, it's mm. like, mm. you know, it's so, so thin that one lick of the file and it's gone. So you can, to, yeah. yeah, it's back to the back to the white and the glitter. So you can change yeah. it up quite a lot. So these these are giving me festival tie dye kind of vibes, which I absolutely love. But then obviously we needed to add some chrome because it wasn't enough just to have mm. the inks we needed to add some chrome so liquid chrome which will be coming back on sale soon it's sold out like oh my god you guys just keep selling everything out it's you amazing the support that you guys give us is just unbelievable absolutely amazing we had a very busy start to the week this week after that sale oh my god Our yeah. second anniversary sale yeah can you believe it it's been two years i know Practice. Oh, it feels like 10. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. But you know. <laughs> no, it doesn't feel like two years. Um, Vanessa was saying... It's gotten quick. Vanessa said the other day, she says, you know, I've worked for you for five years. And I was like, what? Wow. Wow. That's like crazy. Yeah, it's like, well, we've, we've been doing video content since, 20, since the end of 2015. That's when I first started. Really? So that's eight years. Eight yeah. years we've been doing it's video coming up content. Eight, eight, coming up eight years. Oh yeah. my god. Um, that's yeah, that's crazy. Mad. That is absolutely crazy. Wow. I know. I feel slightly old though now. Yeah. <laughs> like you've made me feel old. Weirdly, you look younger. I know. It's the Botox look. It's the Botox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure I did. Wow. Um, you can always have Botox, look young. So we're putting some AB crystals on and I don't want to like take away from the design. So that's why I'm doing that cuticle cuff of crystals. So we're using AB crystals because the colors on an AB crystal will really complement the neon um, inks because you get all those like rainbow colors in a um, Aurora Borealis and we're going to top coat this we make sure we give the kiss of life to those crystals <laughs> with the top coat we just kiss it we just touch it slightly just so we know it's going to give extra longevity and these nails will last zoe a nice sort of three to four weeks so there you are guys hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope you love the neon inks and zoe's nails are fire don't forget to check us out on facebook and instagram and all that shebang and i'll see you guys in the next video Ta -ra -ra.